te te kauma whātau mai te rirotanga mai i a marama te mate ārai kore. Ko te tikanga ki roto i ngā tau te kau ia, ma te mai ai. Kia ora! Kei te pai, ka nui te ora. Nā te putanga mai o ngā rungu ā hou, kua piki tana ora. Kua ako hia, marena hia, me te whānau pepi. Ina e nei kei te fakahare ro pu tau toko Maori mo te hunga mate arai kore. It was recognising that there was a need for Maori issues or culturally defined issues were different. There's the education prevention and then there's care and support with people with HIV. We, we are just looking from the, the indigenous perspective, you know, because like the way I see it, the Pakia way of of fighting it's heavy, they're saying that one one size fits all. It's not working. Bloodborne viruses and STIs uh, tend to go hand in hand with poverty, um, poor housing, lack of education, low socioeconomic status. And those are all the factors that um, have been the consequence of colonisation for us. Every year um, we've seen an increase in HIV infection for Māori. Um, Māori women are now featuring as one third of, of the population of, of HIV positive women. So our women numbers are rising. Okay, just come on and take a seat. He mea nui ko te mārama mehe mea kai te mau ia ko te mate ārai kore mō uano, mō ōhoa, tatu atu ki tō whānau. Wā te ana ngā whakamā tautau mate ārai kore ki te taha o tō tākuta ki ngā wāhi hauora katoa. Ka purua te tahi ngira ki tō mati mati, ko pau te miniti kotahi a ka puta ngā whāinga o te whakamā tautau. And that's a negative. Phew! Well done. Bang. Okay. See ya. See ya. The profile of um, for people who are HIV positive in New Zealand um, is changing. Uh, at one time, um, H, uh, people who were HIV were largely gay males. Uh, there are a number of women um, who are HIV positive, and in fact, the largest increase um, last year in uh, the number of those people who contracted HIV uh, was amongst women. So the services and the training need to reflect that changing profile. Um, uh, in the case, uh, I mean, for Māori and for women, we have different needs, and those needs um, need to be addressed in addition to the needs of, of gay males who are HIV positive. Well, it's very, very hard to, to convince a Māori male to use a condom. Um, even for women who are positive, who tell their partners they're positive, it's still hard negotiating that safe sex. What we know uh, is that Indigenous people um, bear the brunt um, or overrepresented um, in the statistics um, for bloodborne viruses and STIs. I thought I'd never get HIV. Um, I didn't think it would ever happen to me. Just a little Māori girl from Taranaki, you know, like, how am I going to get that? Um, for those who, who aren't gay, like myself, it's, it is, we are taught in this country that it's not going to be a problem for us because there's no education for us. Um, definitely within, within the gay, um, gay, what do you call it, scene, in community, there's a lot of awareness and a lot of education. If you think about the fact that there's no accurate data um, for um, HIV and sexually transmitted infections, then it's unlikely that clinicians, for example, um, social workers, counsellors, are going to receive the kind of training that they need to overcome um, discriminatory ideas that are around and about in society um, and position them well. Uh, to support our people. We've got the highest population rate of um, STI infections 
And not only is that scary, what's more scary is that there is lots of repeat infections. Safe sex is not being practiced because we have this whole attitude that we won't get this virus in a heterosexual community. Sometimes in our country there's been studies done on the level of STIs amongst youth and one particular Māori community of youth is 80% of them have been exposed to an STI or have had repeat infections. So that is a huge indicator to show that we're not practising safe sex as well as um, lots of abortions in that age, age bracket as well. With those sorts of numbers, it only takes one person to introduce HIV into the mix. And we've got an epidemic amongst our youth. Ko te nuing o te wā nā te ai, te mautanga mai o te mate ārai kore. Pā tēnei mate ki ngā wāhine me ngā tāne, te hunga takatāpui, tā tū atu ki te hunga moe wāhine moe tāne rānei. Ko te kuare me te mataku ngā huatanga maharahara mo te hunga e mauana te mate ārai kore. I still face some issues here in the, within the community, in church. We're drinking from the same cup when we were having communion, so... I decided to tell them, so I stood in. They were asking for anyone with anything to share, so I shared. So from then on, they are, um, when we are having communion, I, I have separate um, glass, you know, those little cups. Yeah, yes. I'll just let it go, it doesn't bother me. Our Māori, they have no idea. They have no idea. They still think they can get it from a cup from me, or they still think that, um, you know, the toilet seat kind of thing. So I think the level of, of education, the level of understanding is as bad as it was 15 years ago. Mā te whakamārama ki ngā āhuatanga o te mate ārai kore, kei te mōheo a marama, ngā waria ke te pakeketanga a māinga i āia e tipu ana. If people know about HIV and they're educated, then they're not afraid or stigmatising people with HIV. I know that that could happen to her and stigma and discrimination being born from two positive people could come to her. So I'm hoping that by making people more HIV aware and understanding that they won't take it out on her. No, I'm happier than, than ever, you know, because now I see the reality, you know, HIV took my two kids away and today, you know, with my daughter, my, you know, it's amazing, you know, I... Marama living many, many years of believing she could never have children and never have a family um, and never have a husband or anything like that, to actually watch it happening today is like, she's very happy. Well, we want to raise her here in a nice small town and... Um, it still give her um, her Māori and Pacific background as much as possible. Um, we want more children if we can. We see ourselves in raising our children and being grandparents one day, yeah. grown old together. That's right. Nō reira e te iwi kaue wariwari te whakatauki pēnei nā. He whakatauki tuku iho. Tama tū, tama ora. Tama noho, tama mate. Hey, man.